Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, of course, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. And what are we going to talk about today? Well, there's one thing we loved growing up with in the 80s, and that was ninjas. But I already done a video talking about the ninja craze of the 80s, so today we're going to talk about another craze that kids loved in the 80s robots. Ever since we saw Star Wars back in 1977, we all wanted robots, didn't we? We were like, we got to have a robot. We got to have an R2 unit to ourselves or a 3PO to be our butler. We all wanted robots. And in the 80s, robot toys were a craze. They were all kinds and a lot of Transformer ripoffs also. Now for this list of some of the best robot toys of the 80s, I'm trying not to do, I, I kept looking, I found so many of them that was just Transformer ripoffs. So I decided, hey, I'm just, I got a few on here, but I could do a whole video of Transformer ripoffs. Kind of like I did a whole video of the He-Man ripoff back in the 80s. Really big time back then. Um, but these robots here are mostly from the 80s. There's one from the 90s and a couple of them from the late 70s, but I figured they could fit right in. Um, now we're going to start at the top of the list. A more personal one than the rest of these on the list for me. And we're talking Verbot. Yeah, a Verbot. I don't know about you, but I had Verbot as a kid. I could not wait to get this thing. I was so excited to get Verbot. It was a piece of crap. I've talked about it in videos before, and I'll talk about it again in videos, I'm sure. It was a piece of crap. It was a piece of crap. It, and on TV, they made it look so cool. Have Verbot... Furbot, Verbot, whatever his name is, going to the refrigerator, getting a Coke, bringing it to you. You would get this thing. You had to program it with your voice. It never recognized your voice. He was like, Verbot, walk, walk, Verbot, walk, walk. It's kind of like when I'm talking to uh, Alexa today or my Siri. Just, maybe just to understand my hick accent. But uh, that's Verbot. We got that out of the way. I had to talk about it. There's no way I could do a robot video without talking about that. So let's pull up some pictures of some more more action figure style robots. Let's start back in 1977 with this robot right here. Fantastic Zana, Zon, Zonica, Z-I-O-N-I-C. -I, I don't know how to say it, robot. Let's take a look at it. Here's the Fantasy Diecast Metal Robot. I'm not really sure who released this one. It has a big T logo. That's about all I could find out. And it was released in 1977. And it has kind of a Shogun Warriors appeal to it. Seems like that's the target audience they were going for. Even got something you do with a hand, like a Shogun Warrior. But it, yeah, it seems like they're really trying to copy the craze of Shogun Warriors at the time. How about a robot that's also a TV that would flip over? Yep, they made that also. Here you go. The Flip Over TV Robot. Released in 1993. Like I said, this is the one from the 90s. Although it looks very 80s, so I counted it also. I don't remember this thing. I don't know why it's called a TV robot, but apparently it's called a TV robot. I guess because it has a little screen on the front that looks like a TV. And the robot would actually do little flips and everything once you put your two AA batteries on the inside. Now here's a very strange one from 1983. Max Space Robots. What a stupid name. And these are kind of like a human that's inbred with some robot technology, I guess. Take a look. Max Space Robots. I'm not really sure what these are, but this is probably trying to capture some. But this one here looks kind of like an early edition of Buzz Lightyear. But it's not Buzz Lightyear. It's Max K Space Robots. Released by a company called Sun Gold in 1983. Looks like they're trying to maybe get the market of some He-Man collectors, and I don't know, maybe they're just some robot fans. I'm not really sure what they were going here for this one. Now, before we look at another robot, it's time for me to do a shameless plug. Oh, here he is, trying to sell some shirts again. And you're right, trying to sell some shirts again. Check out our new shirt over at JumpmanMerch.com. I think you'll like it. Look at that. This one I'm calling Jabba, his men, and his prize. Yep, some Kenner action figures on a shirt. Who wouldn't want that? Now let's look at one of those Transformer type ripoffs. The Diecast Metal Convertible Robot. I know they really didn't put much thought in the name. These robots convert to machines with removable parts. And here is one that becomes a submarine. You sank my battleship! This was released by, I don't know how to say this one, J A N E S H 
Gensh, I don't know, some Gensha imports from 1985. And it's clear, without a doubt, they're trying to capture some of that Transformer market money. Or maybe GoBots. Now there's two things we love when it comes to action figures. Action figures that are based on robots, and action figures that are really just rubber with a wire inside of it. You know what I'm talking about. Bendy action figures. I said it once before, I'll say it again. I should do a video about the stupid bendy type action figures. We call them bendums. You know, they did some back in the day when Star Wars first started coming back to toy stores. They were horrible. <laughs> I loved them. I bought every one I could find, even the gift boxes in the carrying case. Anyway, let's check out these Bendums robot figures. Mighty Bendabots. Again, these people come up with these names really didn't spend much time. They said, what should we call these robots? Let's see. They're robots and they're Ben. They're warriors. They like to fight. Let's just call Mighty Ben the Bots Fighting Robot Warriors. Whew, that's a mouthful. This was released by a company called M Toys, or you may know it better as Marty Toys. Who's Marty? I'm not really sure, but it was released in 1985. What a popular year for a kid named Marty. Now let's take another look at one of those Transformer Robot ripoffs. I know, like I said, I could do a whole video on these, and maybe I should, but... This one is just so goofy and silly I had to talk about. It. This one here is called the Mighty Cut. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'm going to call it the Changeable Robot. Released also by Marty Toys in 1984. As you can see, you're trying to cash in on some Transformer money. This one here looks like it transforms from a robot into some kind of big, huge battleship that looks like something you might see on Star Blazers. And that's the only reason I wanted to show this toy, so I can have an excuse to say the word Star Blazers. What a great cartoon. Now, if there was ever a robot toy that looked like you would have bought it at a Revco, this is going to be it right here. This one was released in 1984, and it looks like one of the cheapest toys I've ever seen. Check it out. Here's Robot Warrior, released by Toy Company Imperial in 1984. They look cheap, they look plastic, and I promise you, this thing would have been broke within a week. If you leave one of those good toys on the floor, and your dad steps on it, he's going to take his belt off and beat you with it. But if he steps on this one... That cheap plastic is just going to crack and he's going to throw it in the trash. What good is a toy if you can't upset your pop with it? Now, let's talk about robots and bugs. Bug Bots, released by Buddy L in 1984. These are wind-up robot bugs. That's right, you wind them up and let them bug your sister. Because sisters hate bugs. I need to stop looking at these Transformer ripoffs. I said I wasn't, but we're going to look at another one because this one here, actually released by Matchbox. Uh, you know, they're actually trying to get into the craze. But I like this one here because the name really captures the 80s feel. I mean, the Walkman was big at this time. And they're trying to rip off the Transformers that transformed into cassette tapes. Well, this takes that format, trans transforms a robot into cassette tape, and it's called Hi-Fi Robot. What a great name, Hi-Fi Robot. Can you get any more 80s than that? But here it is, this transforming robot will transform into a cassette tape. But I said it was made by Matchbox, but it's not at all. It's made by some other company that has a logo that I saw in the corner of my eye that kind of looked like Matchbox. So maybe I'll edit that out. Now let's look at a robot that likes to defend Earth. Well, I guess he doesn't defend Earth. I guess he defends anything. This is made by a toy company called Maxwell, and although I couldn't find a year, I'm going to say it's late 70s, early 80s by the look of it. Check this one out. Maxwell's Almighty Defender Robot. Now this one here looks like it's trying to capture maybe some of their audience that also like Shogun Warriors, or maybe the Micronauts, maybe that's what they're trying to go for here. In the late 70s, some Japanese animation cartoon stuff was really big, and this is one of the figures that was trying to capitalize on that. Maxwell Toys, again, I think released in the late 70s, early 80s. That's just a guess. Now, before we look at this weird robot from 1977, here's some exciting news. You got to make sure you come back for that one. Now let's look at probably the strangest robots on this whole list. These are—I I don't know what to say about these. Just take a look. 
These worm-like space robots are called space robots. Released by Chim Toys. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. C-H-E-M-T-O-Y. Chim Toys in 1977. As you know, they're trying to capture some of those Star Wars sales. Anything science fiction, anything robots, anything space themed was hot. And these hit the stores before Kenner Star Wars figures. These are really weird looking robots. They've got really long legs and arms. And they're bendy. They bend at the elbow, the hand twist, the head twist, the knees bend, the foot twist. And it has a picture of a robot on the card saying, hey, what's up? I don't know. These are just really strange looking. There's no way we're going to do a video talking about generic robots from the 80s without talking about the generic king of them all, Remco. Here's Remco's Robot Defenders. And again, they look cheap. But it's Remco. What do you expect? If it didn't look cheap and it was made by Remco, I would be very disappointed. But here they are. They basically all kind of look alike, just different colors and maybe a slight different here and there. But they're just cheap looking robots. Not really much more I can add to that. Now take a child robot toy and mix it with something all kids love. Plain roulette. Mix them together. What do you get? Yep, a roulette robot toy. Roulette robot for ages 5 and up. Look mom, I just put all my allowance money on black. But there's other gambling games made in the robots also. I mean here you have dice box robot. Now what's better than buying a robot toy and you get in one robot? What's buying a robot toy and you get a bunch of robots for the price of one? Check out these toys. Arco's 1985 Robot Zone. Robot Capanability Eat. I have my, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not even going to try that one. But here you get a big robot in the center, two smaller robots, a jet pack, I guess that's what it is, and some kind of weapon accessories. Now one more time, a Transformer ripoff because this one blew my mind. Now I remember probably around 1987, I was in middle school, I wasn't really into Transformers, but everybody else's school was, and I can remember these kids showing up with this pen that was a Transformer pen, and I was like, where did you get that? I checked Walmart, checked Zares, I checked Revco, AIM, wherever you could buy something, I would check it out, even grocery stores, wherever I went, I was looking for these pins, and no one would actually tell me where to get them at, and it was like, once you got one, you were so cool, and it was like a little secret at school, they didn't want to tell anybody where they got them, because it meant you were in the cool club, <laughs> I wasn't always in the cool club, but hey, at least I wasn't in the dork nerdy club either, believe it or not, I wasn't, it was not in middle school, I finally found a friend that told me where to get this, he said, go to Chichester's, and I said, what the hell is a Chichester? Well, apparently Chichester's is a store that sold medical supplies that was in my town. I think they sold some other things, but they were known for going to buy a wheelchair or medical supplies. But by the counter, they had these pens, and I could not find these for years. I used to search on Google, transforming pen, transforming pencil, and I found one that I thought was it, and I was like, that don't, that's not what I remember it looking like. Then I found this just today, and I was like, that's it robot pen check it out here we go ages five and up now i don't know why kids in middle school had this i don't know why it was such a thing but it was a lot of fun when you were sitting in class and teacher wanted to teach you about something history or algebra or something you didn't care about you could pull out your robot convert it you could pull out your robot pen and your pen could become a robot Whew, i wonder what the chances of finding one of these are today I don't know why they put that starburst saying new you think anybody walked into the store and said oh that's the old robot pen to me, that's the only one I've ever seen. I don't even think this thing came in other colors. Now, let's look at one more. And this one comes from Tommy. Tama. Tama. Y'all told me I said it wrong when I said it. Tommy's got two M's. T-O-M-Y. I never knew how to pronounce that one either. Tama. Tommy. Tom. Tama. Tommy. I, I don't know. I give up. You're going to tell me I'm wrong no matter what I say in the comments below. But this is a set of wind-up robots called... Rescue Robots, released in 1978, right there in the midst of Star Wars fever. It's like having a wind-up R2 if you never could get that one that wasn't released in America. Walk, walk, wacky, wind-up, rescue robot. Hold on, take that picture down. Why show you a picture when I can show you the real thing? That's right, I have a, what's it called? Rascal Robot. So one of you guys out there sent me this and it sits on top of my Death Star over there a lot and a lot of people pointed out saying hey I've had that little robot or what is that little robot? Well if you didn't know now you know 1978 what is it? Rascal Robot. We're gonna wind this thing up here. 
I know you won't be able to see it. I'll get the I'll get a camera to focus on that a little better while I wind it across the room. And I will say I want to thank you for watching this video. Let me know about some robot toys you had, even if it wasn't in the 80s, 90s, 2000s. Let me know about some robot toys you liked. And as always, thumb up so you like my comment. Thumb up so I know you like my video. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. It's not really going. Go! Doesn't really walk good. Go! Be here all day. Go! Go! Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>